you know I love you. I loved you ever since the first time I saw you, Mike. Ah. Lay off those covers, will you? Lay off the covers, I tell you. You. Want me to steal your teeth? <clears throat> we can do this all night if one of us doesn't give up. So, Dale, <laughs> Dale, were you an actress before you married Roy and, and were in films before Roy? I'd made some, yes. Yes, I had done about six films at Republic Studios mm -hmm. before I went to work with yeah. Roy. And, and I had, I did two small parts at Fox where I came out originally from Chicago, from WBBM, CBS Network. And I was a staff singer there. And um, I was on the Chasing Sandman Hour with Edgar Bergen oh, and Charlie yeah. McCarthy. Yeah. Charlie McCarthy on radio, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I was signed for a picture called Swing Your Partner with Lulabelle and Scotty from the Barn Dance. Do you remember them? Yes. Lulabelle and Scotty? Yes. Yeah. And, and uh, after that, I'd. Barn Dance. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. And I did a picture with Don Barry and um, I, several musicals there. You might say B musicals, but they were all radio personalities. And uh, then Mr. Yates saw Oklahoma and decided that Roy's pictures should have build the girls' part up like Oklahoma <coughs> was. And he put me in there because I had an audience from Chase and Sandburg. Is that where you and Roy met at the uh, studios? No, the no, we met. Well, the first time I met during World War II. Yeah, at Edwards Air Base. Mm -hmm. We you went out. at Edwards Air Force Base. USO. USO Victor shows. Committee, yes, and and uh, Roy's manager for everything, Art Rush, mm -hmm. had me for radio. He's the one that put me on Jason Sandburn, and so he he said, I want you to meet uh, Roy Rogers because you're both my clients. Mm -hmm. So I met Roy that night just oh, briefly. Down on the dance floor, where all the cowboys and the soldiers and everybody was dancing. Yes. He had just finished a picture called Under Western Stars. Mm -hmm. His first, wasn't that right? Not then, no, honey. I'd, I'd, what, I'd, was I'd that been later? making pictures about eight years. Oh, six I see. Years. But but Claire Trevor was there. Who? Claire Trevor. You were. Yeah, well, that was a picture Claire I made. Trevor. Claire Trevor was in, in a picture I did with John Wayne and Walter Pigeon. That's what I. That's what I meant. Yeah. yeah that's, that's right, John Wayne guy. Yeah, that was, was, was John Wayne. He, yeah, and, and that was under contract. The same studio he was. Yeah, right. But he played Claire Trevor's. Saddle the day he was born. His life was a trail of dust, pails, and horns. At night he lay under a blanket of stars. Fight off the lonesome, he strung his guitar. Hide your horses, take off your guns, and I'll show you how the West was swung. That's how the West was swung. Pictures I made, I wouldn't even allow to kiss the girl because the little boys would say, leave that mushy stuff out of <laughs> our pictures. Thanks, that was a brilliant idea. I ended up uh, marrying my lovely leading lady, and uh, we've been married 44 years now, and uh, the best years of my life. And I have a lot to be thankful for. I've got 16 grandchildren, and 24, 25 great grandchildren now, and 
one in the oven. <laughs> Serenade the moon, a few no started straying and moseyed right along. From Amarillo down to old San Antonio. I have your horses, take off your guns and I'll show you how the West was won. The deal got in the fights and everything. <laughs> It just made the whole picture good. Get off my tub. Are you filthy jawhead? You pushed me. Hold it. Hold it. What do I do with it? Put him in the crate. Roll off his tongue. I don't see I can get any better than what we've had down through the years, and uh, we had good times and bad times, and we had depressions and that. But uh, that that life, uh, everything doesn't always go the way you plan it. You just do the best you can with what you got, with the times and the things that are happening. I forgot I had all this stuff. You know, it's, it's amazing how much you forget when you're when you're busy doing other things. Am I in love? Am I in love? Well, I'll leave it up to you. Where's Mike? Right behind you. Boy, what a wife! Hey, wasn't that funny? And what a classic scenes from the Son of Paleface, the 1952 classic uh, Paramount film with Bob Hope, Jane Russell, Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys with his wonder horse, Trigger, Iron Eyes Cody and Buddy Van Horn. What a great film. And it is the 55th anniversary of the Son of Paleface. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope you got an insight of behind the scenes of the Sound of Pale Face. And make sure you get that at your local video store because it is available on DVD. Until then, this is your uh, host and producer Happy saying goodbye, good luck, and may your good Lord always take a liking to you. And I got that from Roy Rogers, and I'm drinking out of his cup. I'm drinking hot cocoa here because that's all Roy would drink out of his one and only uh, a cup that is a vintage that came out of Quaker Oats. <laughs> And I'm drinking out of it. So he, he gave me this to say to you. Goodbye, good luck. And may the good Lord always take a like it here. The next time, happy trails. So long, everybody. Mmm. Good. See you.